How did I get into photography? I was forced into photography, actually. One of our assignments we needed to um, incorporate a, a student photographer, and I got my assignment done. My friend had a difficulty trying to find a, a student photographer to help him on his project, and he just threw me a camera one day and said, hey, I need help on a, on a project, and, and I said, I didn't know what the hell I'm doing. And I was like, but I'll help you, but it's gonna, it's gonna look really bad, bro, but I'll, I'll help you because you're my friend. And one thing led to the other, and I ended up loving it, and th the shots are like in really horrible now that I look at them, but um, it, that, that's, that was my first shoot, and I loved it ever since. The best part of getting ready for modeling came easy to me because I'm a cosmetologist. So getting ready and looking great every day is kind of in the industry already. So it just came naturally. Um, painting your face is like having a canvas. You can put anything on it. You want it to look 3D, so you have to add so many different things to it to get that 3D aspect. You just put one color on, you're really flat. It's just paper. So putting all that into it gives you so many different looks. You can have dramatic, a light scene. It all accentuates the shot. So getting ready is definitely a number one priority. It's the most fun of it. You can do whatever you want, all creative, free for all. Whatever you feel like doing, it adds to that shot. The main reason I like being a model is because one, I used to be overweight. So taking the photos that I do now, it brings out my confidence and it allows me to truly feel sexy like I am. When I'm with him, when we're shooting, I just feel comfortable. I can do anything, like drink beer if I want, obviously. I can smoke my cigarette. I can be a goofball. I can pretty much do anything, and he accepts it and puts up with it. And it's just <laughs> super fun and comfortable and still professional. So it's not really more like you're acting or pretending to be something, it's more like you're portraying an idea, if that makes sense. More like just the character itself, his story, like whoever you decide to make up, it's their story, it's their life, and you're trying to bring it out and make people realize it. Also the fact that you can make almost anything a reality when it comes to film, it's just really cool. I mean, we've got vampires, werewolves, I mean, why not have mystical creatures and stuff like that? So I mean, it's kind of cool juggling around the day-to-day -day life of who you could be or who you can't be, you know? It's been a long, long road. It's been a long, long dream. Picture the outcome of it, like, you got to not focus so much of what's bad around you or what's good around you or how it's gonna look. It's more like be yourself. The more genuine you make the expression in yourself, I believe, is the better outcome of it because then you get a better picture. I mean, you're not really focused on your makeup or your hair or your clothes. I mean, all things are considered are very important when it comes to photography, when it comes to lighting, the time, the hair, I mean, all that stuff is confusing and it can be a cluster, I agree, but if I had any tips, it would be to basically put yourself in it. Like, you're not just a face, you're not a model, you're be you. If that would make any sense to anybody, I feel like it would make sense to a model. I like to be friendly right at the get-go, um, let them know they can be themselves, let them, you know, know that they, we can have fun, but also let them know that I keep it professional. I keep it, you know. I, I, we're there to we're there to do a photo shoot, and we're there to get it done. We're we're there to do it right, but have fun at the same time. And and uh, a lot of the girls, they you know, they respect that and they like that. And you know, we end up doing good shoots, awesome shoots, and you know, they're very, they end up being very comfortable with me. I when I pose them, I get right up in it and move them around, and yeah. <laughs> Grab your head and move it around. Chin down. Look forward. <laughs> I believe the world is shy in a way. I mean, that's a good reason I would think. The world is shy, definitely a little timid. There's definitely a lot of reasons. I mean, the world's religious, troubled, strange. 
I can't really say why. I mean, I'm not. I can't be everybody at once. But I mean, I can. I can speak for my half of the world that thinks like I do. I guess in a way. And if I'm gonna be the world in this situation, and I'm looking at the model world, I would say it's um, not degrading, but I guess some do kind of go way out there. But that's them. I mean, that's their form of art. I'm not gonna really disagree with any of that. I mean, I think the world kind of sees it as downgrading because they don't agree with it. If that makes sense. And when the world doesn't agree with something, there's always going to be some kind of turbulence. Everyone has their own opinions about photography, and exactly, yeah. you can think it's unclassy or you can think it's classy. It all really just depends on your taste and how you look at the photo and how you want to interpret it. I mean, it can empower some women. It can make them feel offended, offended like they're the scum of the earth. But, I mean, like I said, it's all in how you feel about it and how you want to interpret it. Because the person doing the photo obviously loved it and felt sexy. Well, art itself is a piece of work that you define or can't explain verbally. So for film, we visually show it. For paint, we paint out our feelings and show it. It's expressing our emotions in a way we couldn't normally do it with words. So we do it through actions or through other presence of means. As an editor, you don't want to be noticed for your cuts. You want each scene to flow through nicely. I like that gritty pop almost. Like graffiti, city street style. Film as itself is an art, it's a collaborative piece. You have everyone else's perspectives coming in, working together as one, as a company. And that is actually pretty fun, seeing everyone agree, sometimes butt heads, but eventually reach a similar goal and have the outcome be magnificent. And that's always, that's always fun to see. Everyone's like, yeah, we did that, I shot that scene. Yeah, I edited that. He was acting it. Yeah, you're my friend, buddy. He did it, actor. And everyone gets high five at the end.